Hi, my name is Kevin Harper, and we're going to be talking about the new M cloth, uh, cloth, the new cloth simulation for 2013 3 Studio Max. Let's create a box. A rectangle. Roughly like so. And then we'll copy that rectangle over. And we'll move them both above the ground plane. Now I'm going to turn on auto key. Because we're going to simulate tearing. And in the last frame, I'm going to pull this box out this way. So now, I'll create a plane in the top viewport. And then, I'm going to move it up to where the boxes are. And as before, I'm going to add an M cloth modifier to it. Now, I'll select the vertices at the edges of, of one edge of the box. Click on click on make group. I'm going to call this right side. And instead of pin, I'm going to use the note. The note will listen. You see how my cursor has changed to a picker? The note will listen for which object you click on next. And I've clicked on this box, so now these vertices in the simulation will follow this box. As you will notice, if I run simulate, the vertices are now attached to that box and it being pulled by it. Now on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab these vertices, make group, call it left side, and then note to this group. Now, if we run the simulation, we'll see that the cloth is being kind of stretched by both sides. But notice how the center is being stretched a lot less than the outer vertices. This is because the cloth is set to uh, a zero stretchiness. So to fix that, let's set that stretchiness to 0 0.2 maybe. and rerun the simulation, you'll see that this stretch is now occurring in a much more na natural fashion. In addition to that, we don't want it to be so stiff when it actually rips. So we're going to turn this up to 0.95, my favorite. So now, we're going to make a, s a third group, which is really a tear. Select your vertices in the middle and click on Make Tear. We're going to call this Tear Group. Now, if we click back on M Cloth and we go to our perspective view and run Simulate. you'll notice that it has automatically set a tear for the um, for the cloth. Now, it, it automatically turned it on. By default, this is turned off, allow tearing. This, is, this turned itself on because we selected the vertices and we made a tear group. I hope you enjoyed this M cloth tutorial for 3D Studio Max 2013. Uh, subscribe, uh, thumbs up if you want to see some more videos. Um, yeah, I hope you do something really cool with it. Thank you for watching, and uh, my name is Kevin Hopper. See you soon.